Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Kane Productions and welcome back to a new Hearts of Iron 4 modding tutorial. So, I think this is episode 7 and I got a lot of requests to do events. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. Right? We are going to start an event and we're going to create one event. But remember, you can always just copy and paste and change like the little things in the event. Right now, we're just going to be adding the structure. So, let's just go ahead and get started here all right guys so when you have your mod folder open let's just go ahead and get to our main directory here we're going to want to create a new folder called events and also under that folder we're going to want to create a new text document and i'm just going to rename this text document to tutorial then under localization we are going to want to go ahead and scroll down in the Hearts of Iron 4 folder and select events underscore I or L underscore English and paste that into there. Then we're going to go ahead and drag that into Sublime Text and drag our tutorial.txt into Sublime Text. So I went ahead and I opened up the Soviet events file. And basically all I'm gonna do is just copy one of these events and then I'm just gonna change whatever the structure is so first we're gonna want to have add underscore namespace and we're just gonna have ours be tutorial okay and then we can just copy all of this till here and paste that there so we're gonna change a lot of this but it's always nice to just copy something that you know that works and just change the insides of it and um, then hopefully that will work. Alright, so in this event we have a couple things. First we have the ID, the title, and the description as well as the picture that is shown with the event. So first off, instead of Soviet.1, we're going to change ours to Tutorial. Dot one because these cannot be the same so if you make another event for your country you're gonna want it tutorial.2.3 etc etc but they cannot be the same you can't have two tutorial.1 then we're gonna want to go ahead and change the title to tutorial.1 and the description to tutorial.1 and just leave the dot t and dot d at the end all right guys, so once you've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and change this picture here to the exact same picture in my zombie system. So basically you can just open up like the Germany folder and you can look at the pictures under the GFX and I just look at the one you want. So if we go to, here let's try and explain this a little bit better. Under event pictures, you can see all of the different pictures for the event so if we looked at the news event chinese soldiers this is the picture that's going to show up so let's say we wanted that picture right then we just go ahead and copy this and paste it into there and that is what the picture will be and then of course like the other ones we're going to want to go ahead and put gfx underscore and then have that there so that should work this just lets the game know that it is a picture and yeah that should work so under our options here basically what we're going to want to say is we can get rid of these right here um the tooltip we don't need that so underneath is triggered only we're going to go ahead and add trigger and then equals and then the curly braces here and this is what's going to trigger our event so we're going to want to make sure that we are the country that we want this event to happen on so if we are the tutorial country it has to be the tutorial so basically all of these have to be true for the event to trigger so under that we're going to put and and we're going to go ahead and do another curly brackets and this should be equal right here and we're just gonna go ahead and say the date needs to be greater than 1936.2.1. So this should be the date has to be greater than February 1st, 1936, and you need to be the tutorial country. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and add one more thing before we get to the options. This is just for the people wondering about how I did uh, the event system on my infection mod. Basically, I used a command called unders or mean underscore time underscore to underscore happen and then equals curly brackets and then days equals seven. So what this means is basically it will trigger the event seven days after uh, the triggers are true. So for my zombie mod, basically if you annex, let's say the Soviet Union, then seven days later it would declare po declare war on Poland, etc., etc. So that's how that works there. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave this like that. So basically it should be um, two eight, I guess, when it happens. Um, so yeah, that's basically all that really means there. So under this option here, we're gonna go ahead and just rename this to okay because basically this is going to be the button that you see when you click it so sometimes you have like two different buttons and you can click either one but for this we're just going to have one button and we're going to go ahead and make the ai chance equal 100. so the button is going to say okay and the chance that the ai clicks on that button is 100 percent so if you have two buttons you might want it to be 50 50 90 10 something like that so if it's um want to annex Austria as Germany you might want to have it be like 95% it will and 5% it won't just to have some randomness but you're also controlling it and this event has some hidden effects here but we're not really gonna want that because it's not necessary for what we're gonna do so okay under this hidden effect we're gonna get rid of that and we don't want it to add political power we want to declare underscore war underscore on. So basically we're going to declare war on a country. And the target is going to be the United Kingdom. And our type of war is going to be to annex underscore everything. So basically all this says here is when we press OK, it's going to declare war on England and the type of war it will be will annex everything. And this is really all we need. If you want to add more options here, that's what this is for. But we don't need any more options. It's not necessary because we want them to 100% of the time declare war on England. We don't need this tool tip right here. And this is it. This is the event. So basically just a little rundown. We have our namespace our event we have the id so tutorial.1 our title tutorial.1.t dot dot description picture and what our triggers are when it will happen how far it will happen after the triggers are true and our option here so what happens when you press the button so if we go ahead and save that we're gonna have to do one more thing under this events underscore i underscore english dot yml we're gonna want to go to the very bottom and make a new thing right here so we can have some number signs just to separate the main base game from our mod and we're gonna go ahead and just copy this grease.3.t right here all right so under here we can see grease.3.t colon zero and then some words in uh speech marks <laughs> But basically, we're going to want to go ahead and change Greece to tutorial 3 to 1 T, meaning our title. And we're going to change our title to War with England. Just like that. All right. So our title is going to be War with England. Then we can copy this right here, paste it down there. And all we have to do is change this T to a D for description. And then we can just say in our description, YouTube land doesn't like the UK. There we go. So this will be the description and the title. And that is all we need. So if you go ahead and hit play on our mod, make sure it is enabled here. Hit play and it should work. All right, so if we do a new game here and we play as YouTube land, remember you have to be YouTube land or whatever your country is because that is the country that we said had to be it. We can exit off that. 
And basically, there are two ways we can get this to trigger. We can run till February, or we can go ahead and press the button right under escape. I forget what it's called, but the button right under escape. And all we have to do is type in events, I believe. Yeah, events tutorial dot one. There we go. So it says up here, your country is YouTube land, which has to check, but it's not after February 1st of 1936. That's why it one trigger on its own. But we're with England. YouTube land doesn't like the UK. If we highlight OK, it can see you can see below YouTube land declares war on United Kingdom. So we press that and there we go. We have declared war on the United Kingdom here. So if we go ahead and restart the game, I will show you that it should work. All right, guys, so we are back in the game here and we're just gonna run the game until February 1st and it should work around the 8th of February. So I'll be back when we get to February 1st. All right, guys, so it's the 31st of January and you will see it does not trigger on February 1st because we have the mean time to wait seven days. So it should trigger on the 8th and then it didn't trigger. All right, guys. So since it didn't work, I went ahead and I changed is trigger only to no. And the way I figured this out is as you can see here under the wiki, it really helps you out sometimes. So is trigger only, only occurs by a command. And you can see here, that means if the nuke is dropped or in the console or by decision. So that's why it worked in the console and not in the game when you're playing it. And under my zombies or infection mod, I didn't even have that. So I don't know why I kept it there, but I do apologize. It should work this time. So make sure it is triggered only is no. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump to February. All right, guys. So the event triggered on the 4th or 5th of February. So it does work. All right, guys. So that is it for today's episode. One last thing, though. If you only want this to trigger once, if you only want the event to happen one time and there's no possibility of it happening multiple times, then you're going to want to put fire underscore only underscore once equals yes. And basically, that just means that it'll only fire one time. After that, it's impossible for it to happen again. But this is really all you need. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all did enjoy today's episode. And I'm, I hope it works. Let me know if you have any problems. Thank you all so, so much for all of the support. And I should see you next week. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.